liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. It was nearly nine years ago that Americans last lifted off from American soil on an American rocket. Ever since, the U.S. has been paying Russia to ferry astronauts to the space station. Now, for the first time, it's up to a private American company, SpaceX, to do the job. Using a space capsule named Dragon, sitting on top of a rocket named Falcon 9. Inside, veteran NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin. It takes a lot of uh, confidence and audacity to pull off a, a human spaceflight mission, but uh, you also need to be a little bit paranoid that uh, things can get complicated really quick and you need to be prepared for that. Complicating the mission, the coronavirus has forced half the SpaceX engineers to work from home. The astronauts themselves regularly tested for COVID and isolated since March. We have been in quarantine probably longer than any other space, uh, space crew has ever been in the history of the space program. SpaceX has been flying a cargo version of the same rocket to the space station for years. The company has suffered very public setbacks, but also racked up a string of impressive successes. And SpaceX was, of course, founded by Elon Musk, who also founded Tesla, and once sent an astronaut mannequin in a Tesla into orbit around the sun. For this mission, astronauts Hurley and Benkin will sport new state-of-the-art spacesuits and arrive in, what else, a Tesla. Former astronaut Mike Massimino will be part of the Discovery Channel's coverage of the launch. How trusting are you right now of SpaceX and its technology and expertise to get this job done? Uh, I'm very trusting of SpaceX. I have a lot of confidence in this one. Uh, I am not fearful for my friends. I'm very optimistic and uh, very excited about the possibilities. As NASA entrusts SpaceX with launching Hurley and Bank into the space station and bringing them home safely again, NASA itself is now focused on a new mission, returning to the moon within four years. So these are different times, but it is also a time when we need to be doing amazing things as a nation and inspiring the entire world, and that's what we're doing. Tom, I was reading up on this, and I understand they don't yet know how long the mission will last. Really? It's indefinite? Yeah. Can you imagine planning a trip out of town, and you, and you don't know how much underwear to bring? I mean, that's their situation. <laughs> they could be gone for one month. They could be gone one to four months up to the space station. They want to test drive the rocket and test drive the space capsule and get a feel for how it's going to perform and how well it handles. So this is all dependent on how well everything comes together. By the way, launch time, 4.33 p.m. Eastern tomorrow from launch pad 39A, which is the same pad where they launched Apollo and so many shuttle missions over the years.